Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the gram-negative cocci, Neisseria gonireae. Uh, first, general characteristics of Neisseria gonireae. Uh, Neisseria gonireae or gonococci is a gram-negative kidney-shaped cocci, uh, which is arranged in diplococci arrangement. It is motile in nature and shows twitching motility. Uh, twitching motility means uh, flagella independent motility and motile by using pili. And the Neisseria gonireae size is ranging from 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter and it belongs to the family Neisseria CA, capsules absent and endospores absent. And the Neisseria gonireae is also called as gonococci and its mode of respiration is aerobic mode of respiration and its optimum temperature for cultivation of Neisseria gonireae is 35 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius. Optimum pH for gonococci is 7 to 7.2. Uh, next, the, regarding the habitat, the gonococci are widely present in the urogenital tract and, and reproductive tract of the human beings. Regarding the discovery, uh, in the year 1879, German physician Albert Ludwig Sigesbert Neisser uh, first discovered the gonococci or Neisseria gonireae. Uh, regarding the disease transmission of gonococci, uh, Neisseria gonireae infections are mainly transmitted by sexual contact. Uh, babies can be infected during childbirth if their mothers are infected and in babies, uh, gonireae most commonly affects the eye. Uh, virulence factors. Uh, the ability of the microorganisms to cause an infection is called as virulence. Virulence factors are the factors uh, which are responsible for causing infection in uh, human beings. Uh, the Neisseria gonorrhea or gonococci have uh, nearly 10 virulence factors. They are pilin, pore protein, OPA protein, RMP protein, transferrin binding proteins, lactoferrin binding proteins, hemoglobin binding proteins, lipooligosaccharides, IgA1 protease and beta lactamase. Uh, the incubation period for Neisseria gonorrhea infection is 2 to 5 days and the infective dose required for causing the gonococci infection is variable. Uh, next pathogenesis of gonococci or Neisseria gonorrhea. Uh, Neisseria gonorrhea infections are occurred by sexual contact and usually affect the mucous membrane of the urethra in males and the endocervix and urethra in the females. Neisseria gonorrhea are not able to survive in the dry region and colonize only in the sticky mucous membrane. Uh, gonococci attached to the mucosal cells, penetrates into the cells and multiply and then pass through the cells into the sub-epithelial space where the infection is established. Uh, pili, pore B and OPA proteins uh, mediates the attachment and penetration to the host cells. Uh, the gonococcal lipopolysaccharides stimulates the release of uh, pro-inflammatory cytokine which is called as uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF alpha. Uh, the tumor necrosis factor alpha is a cell signaling protein involved in the systemic infection uh, which causes most of the symptoms associated with the gonococcal disease. Clinical diseases of Neisseria gonorrhea. Uh, Neisseria gonorrhea results in uh, five clinical diseases. They are gonorrhea, disseminated gonococcal infection, ophthalmoneonatrum, gonococcal pharyngitis, and gonococcal septic arthritis. Uh, the first clinical disease caused by the Neisseria gonorrhea is gonorrhea. Uh, typically, uh, the infection begins to show symptoms a week after its transmission. Uh, the first noticeable symptom in men is often a burning or painful sensation during urination. As it progresses, other symptoms may include a greater frequency or urgency of urination, painful urination, pus like discharge from the male reproductive organ, and painful or swelling in one testicle. And next, uh, many women do not. Uh, develop any over symptoms of gonorrhea. Uh, when women do not develop symptoms, they tend to be mild or similar to other infections, uh, making them more difficult to identify. 
gonorrhea infection scan appears much like common vaginal yeast or bacterial infection and its symptoms includes painful urination increased vaginal discharge unusual bleeding in female reproductive organ painful intercourse and finally abdominal or pelvic pain uh, the second clinical disease caused by the uh, nigeria gonorrhea is a disseminated gonococcal infection a disseminated gonococcal infection occurs via the bloodstream and this disseminated gonococcal infection is also called as arthritis dermatitis syndrome uh, it reflects the bacteremia and typically manifests with uh, fever migratory pain or joint swelling or polyarthritis pustular skin lesions endocarditis and meningitis in some patients uh, pain develops at the wrist or ankles and redden or swell uh, skin lesions occur typically on the arms or legs and have a red base and are small slightly painful and often pustular uh, the third clinical disease caused by the nigeria gonorrhea is ophthalmia neonatrum uh, in newly born children ophthalmia neonatrum causes an eye infection which may develop within 2 to 3 days of vaginal delivery and affects the cornea and causes blindness in the neonates and uh, the fourth clinical disease caused by the gonococcus is gonococcal pharyngitis uh, gonococcal pharyngitis is usually asymptomatic in nature uh, but may cause some sore throat like infections a uh, nigeria gonorrhea distinguishes from nigeria meningitis and other closely related organisms that are often present in the throat without causing any symptoms and uh, the final and fifth clinical disease caused by the nigeria gonorrhea or gonococcus is gonococcal septic arthritis uh, gonococcal septic arthritis is a more localized form of a disseminated gonococcal infection that results in painful arthritis with effusion Uh, usually of one or two uh, large joints such as knees ankles wrist or elbows the onset of this gonococcal septic arthritis is often acute and usually with uh, fever severe joint pain and limitations of movement and the infected joints are swollen and the outer and uh, the overlying uh, skin may be warm and red and next lab diagnosis of nigeria gonorrhea or men or gonococci and the first diagnostic method is microscopic examination and the gram staining nigeria gonorrhea as appears as a pink colored gram negative cocci arranged in form of kidney shaped diplococci in motility test the gonococci is motile in nature and it shows twitching motility and uh, next uh, colony morphology on culture medium uh, growth was not observed in blood agar and chocolate agar uh, in mcconkey agar nigeria gonorrhea shows white colored non lactose fermenting colonies uh, there are two selective mediums for gonococci or nigeria gonorrhea the first the first selective medium is thayer martin medium and the second selective medium is new york city medium uh, in thayer martin medium gonococci was observed as a small grayish white to colorless smooth moist mucoid glittering circular or round and transparent colonies uh, in the thayer martin medium uh, thayer and martin used vancomycin colistin and nistacin and martin and lester used an additional antibiotic trimethoprim to make the medium selective uh, in new york city medium nigeria gonorrhea shows a uh, small grayish white to colorless a uh, smooth moist mucoid glittering circular or round transparent colonies a uh, next biochemical test catalase test positive oxidase test positive urea test negative indole test negative methyl red test negative vargas prescott test or vp test negative citrate utilization test negative starch hydrolysis negative case in hydrolysis negative and next the glucose fermentation is positive uh, maltose fermentation is negative and the maltose fermentation test is only positive for an nigeria meningitis and used for the differentiation of uh, meningococci from the gonococci nigeria gonorrhea 
एंड फाइनली हाइड्रोक्सी प्रोलाइन अमिनो पेपिडेज टेस्ट और एंजेम सब्सटेट टेस्ट शोस पॉजिटिव रिएक्शन फॉर द गोनोकॉके और नाइजीरिया गोनेरिए फाइनली ट्रीटमेंट एंड प्रिवेंशन सेफ्ट्रियोक्सिन इज करेंटली द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस and uh, next azithromycin or deoxycycline should be added for infections complicated by chlamydia species and for neonates uh, prophylaxis with uh, one person is sylvanitrate uh, is recommended and the ophthalmic neonatrum is treated with ceftriaxone and vaccines are not available so the safe sex and avoiding multiple sexual activities is the only method for the prevention of gonococcal infection or nigeria gonorrhea infection Uh, dear viewers, that's all about the gonococci or Nigeria gonorrhea. Thank you for your support. Thank you.